What is going on, guys? So today we're going to be talking about the finals. As you know, LeBron James has won his fourth finals MVP and fourth finals with Anthony Davis and the Lakers. At age 35 and 286 days, as of today, he is not showing any regression of stopping for the next three to four years. So today we're going to be talking about stats and if he surpassed Michael Jordan as the number one player to ever play in the game of basketball. So here we're going to start dipping into some stats. So we're going to start off with LeBron James. 2003-2004 Rookie of the Year. Four times Finals MVP. Four time regular time MVP. 2003-2004 All-Time Rookie. 16 time All-NBA. Six time All-Defensive. three time, Four time NBA Champion. 2019-2018 EST Champ. 2008, 2000, no, 2007, 2008 scoring champ, my bad. And he has won four rings with three different teams. See, that's what messes me up. See, <clears throat> well, I don't like people comparing Michael Jordan to LeBron. Because LeBron had to switch it up to three different teams for four rings. Which I feel is... Kind of, I don't, I don't, I can't find a word for it. But Michael Jordan stood on his team, carried them. I, I'm not gonna say carried because you know they had Rodman, they had Kukoc, they had Kerr, they had Pippen. Yeah, but, you know what I'm trying to say. But he sat there and and stayed there and, and won six Finals MVPs and six. And six rings. That's it. That's just GOAT status right there. So we're going to talk about their best season scoring wise. So I'm looking through NBA reference right now. And LeBron's best season was 2007-2008 when he won his first scoring, scoring champ. He was 23 years old and he's only played 74 games that season. He averaged... 30 points, 1.1 block, 1.8 steals, 7.2 assists, 7.9 rebounds. Now that is, that's crazy. That is actually crazy. Oh, and 2.2 fouls per game. Can't forget about that. Um, let's go. Let's dip into the shooting percentages. He shot 48% from the field. He shot 31% from three pointer. And he shot 53% from the two-point field goals. Now we're going to go to Jordan. <clears throat> okay. He started in 85, drafted with the third overall. Was it third? Second. Second. Oh, my God. I can't believe I forgot about that. <laughs> now, he's... Inducted to the Hall of Fame. We all know LeBron's going to be inducted to the Hall of Fame. Five-time MVP. 1984-1985 Rookie of the Year. Six times final MVP. 1987-1988 Defensive Player of the Year. When's the last time you heard of a shooting guard making Defensive Player of the Year? 1984-1985 All-Rookie. Nine-time All-Defensive. 11-time All-NBA. Three-time a steal champ, six-time NBA champ, ten-time, ten-time scoring champ. To LeBron's one, fourteen-time All-Star. Now LeBron, now Jordan. He only played fifteen seasons. He would have played about eighteen or nineteen if he would have never left. So he's got. Way more stats and awards and nicknames. Nicknames is what makes you. It was, it's what makes your persona to everybody else. It's just 15 seasons. What, LeBron's on his 16th, 17th season already? And he's barely catching up with MJ? Like, that's that's insane. That just shows you how, how good Michael Jordan really was. His whole career, he only played... 1,072 games, averaging 30.1 points, 5.3 assists, 6.2 rebounds, shooting on 
50% from the field goal, 83.5% from the free throw. That 15 seasons. I only think he think I think uh, he only missed a couple games. See, in 1985, 1986, he only played 18 games. 94, 95, he only played 17 games. Um, let's see. Everything else he played 60 or above. 2003, 2004 with the Washington Wizards, he played 82. 98, 97, 96, he played 82. 91, 90, 87, and 85, his rookie, he all played 92. Now, we're going to talk about his best season. Now, this is, this is a very weird. So, as we talked about, LeBron had his, had his best season at age 23. Now, MJ, Michael Jordan, the GOAT, his air greatness, <clears throat> 23 years old. He played 82 games. Well, how much did LeBron play that year? He only played 75. Okay. So, LeBron played more games. He averaged plus 7 points. He averaged 37 points with 3 fouls per game, 3 turnovers, 1.5 blocks, 3 steals, 4.6 assists. 5.2 rebounds. That's 85% from free throw. Um, let's see here. 48% from field goal. 18% from three. You know, he wasn't really a three point shooter back then, so. And the fact that he wasn't even shooting threes and he averaged 37 points per game is beyond me. That is actually insane. Wow. This is. Just looking at this once to like makes me like I wish I was there to witness it. So let's see how long how much seasons LeBron has averaged over thirty. Alright, he's averaged one, two, three, twenty nine point seven counts because it's over. No, we're not gonna count that. It has to be exactly thirty. Okay, so two. Michael Jordan or, or MJ LeBron, my bad. LeBron has averaged two seasons. Over over 30 points per game. And that's when he was 23 in the 2008 season. And when he was 21 in 2006. He averaged 31 then. Okay. Let's see MJ. So he goes from 85 to 86. 22 points. You know, he's doing good. He's doing his thing. But he only plays 7 games. No, he only played 18 games that, that season. Then he goes next year. 37 points. 87, 37 points. 1987, 1988, 35, 1989, 32, 1990, 33, 1991, 31, 1992, 30, 1993, 32. Then when he comes back in 95, he only averages 26. 90, 96, 30 points. Now that is, he's never under 22.7 a game. No, he's never averaged under 20. Because the last season of his career, he averaged 20 on the dot. Now, that is... That's that's crazy. Because he averaged 30 plus points for what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 years in a row, he averaged 30 plus points. You gotta take that in, in, in mind. That is... Wow, that's that's hurting my brain right now. See, like people, like I'll I'll I don't use Facebook, but like I'll just I'll just go on it and just for, like the basketball talk groups, the football talk groups. Now people, now LeBron sexuals, that's what we call them, because like they be sucking off LeBron. LeBron sexuals, they, it's it's like weird, cause like. They'll, they'll, they'll say how great he is. Oh, look at this. They'll make edited photos of Jordan, like, where he's on the ground crying or, or like, stats. Like, he shot one for 30 or one for 28. Like, it's gotten to the point, like, that's why I hate LeBron and that's why I hate his fans. He has, like, possibly the worst fan base of, of all sports players ever. Which is... I can't believe how his fans act, but whenever I get into arguments with them, because I I don't I don't like to argue people, but 
I like to argue, like to uh, to see what they have to say, like what what backs their their theory up that that LeBron is better than Michael Jordan. They never talk about MJ having nine times scoring champs over him. They never they never talk about he hasn't he's a hundred percent in uh finals wins. They never talk about the eleven All NBAs, like that's. They never talk about the seven plus seasons where he averaged thirty plus seven seasons in a row. I'm not talking about throughout his whole career, like he averaged thirty here, next season he averaged like twenty seven, twenty six. No, this is seven in a row averaging thirty plus. That is that that's insane. And that's that's the era where that's like one of the hardest defensive eras, like uh, let me just think of some names. You had Akeem. Um, you had Young Shaq. Um, hold up. Think. You had Charles Barkley, David Robinson, Carl Malone, Hakeem, which I already said. I, I, don't, I don't know why I said it again. You had Reggie Miller, Clyde Drexler, John Stockton, Jeff Hornacek. Yes, I said Jeff Hornacek. Underrated. You had Horace Grant, you had Gary Payton, Hershey Hawkins, Vladdy Divac, um, uh, Tim Hardaway, Patrick Ewing, Dan Marigel, uh, Chris Mullen, Dennis Rodman when he when before he joined the team. You had Sean Kemp, Dikembe, Ross Strickland, um, Nick Anderson, uh, Young Grant Hill. Like that's. Hardest defensive era of all time. You had Sean Kemp blocking every single shot. Dikembe blocking every single shot. Chris Mullen pulling up with his with his incredible mid-range shooting ability. Patrick Ewing doing what he does best in the paint. Backing you down with all of his force. Shaquille O'Neal just being an offensive paint threat. Tim Hardaway with his shot. He, he could pull up from anywhere. Gary Payton, if you even think about looking the other way, that he's already on the fast break for a wide open dunk. Like that, you got Reggie Miller who who could shoot with in three people's face. Hakeem with the with a dream shake. Charles Barkley, six foot six, dude. Af, dude weighed like two eighty pounds, six foot six, and he was he had like a forty three vertical. Karl Malone, the garbage man. One of the best rebounders in the NBA history, David Robinson, the Admiral. Dude was so strong he could pick you up with one arm. Like, come on. People on Facebook, like, like Facebook is probably the most toxic place for NBA talk groups. They say the 90s were, they were cupcakes. They call them cupcakes. The 90s era were cupcakes. But then you got LeBron. LeBron's route, he had to go through, through. LeBron's road to the finals. He had Dirk Nowitzki. He's good, but he wasn't even in his prime yet. You had old Paul Pierce, old uh, Kevin Garnett, young Steph Curry, who was barely even getting his team together. Like, that's not competition. He had to team up with the best shooting guard in the league. And the best, top, I'm not going to say best, but top three power forward in the league at the time. Which was Chris Bosch. And that's just I can't I can't I can't ever call LeBron better than Michael Jordan. Now look at this, I got I got a picture on my laptop right now. Through the first ten seasons. So I'm not talking today, I'm not talking all time. This is the first ten seasons of their career. So at the after the first ten seasons, LeBron was thirty one and LeBron was twenty eight. LeBron, so we're going to start off, like, I'm going to start off the points. MJ, for, through the first 10 seasons, he had 21,998 points. So basically 22,000. Because it was two away from 2,000. LeBron, 21,081. See the difference? See what happens when you start at 22, 23, 21 years old? 
in the 80s and you only play 15 seasons, see? Then you, you're you a player like LeBron who's barely missed 30 games in his career. Started at 18, going on to 36, going strong still. Now we're going to go to rebounds. 4,336 to, wait, hold up, what? Hold on, let me just make, what the? Okay, rebounds. LeBron, I mean Michael Jordan had 4,336 to LeBron. LeBron doubled that by 1,000. LeBron had 5,553, which Michael Jordan wasn't really a rebounder. But um, now we're going to talk about assists. LeBron had 1,000 more assists with uh, MJ having 4,025. LeBron had 5,302. Now we're going to talk about steals. Uh, MJ had 1,845 to uh, LeBron's 1,323. Now that is, that just shows, Michael Jordan was playing at a more brittle age, he was 31. Nowadays, that's like the, that's the, that's the year where, oh, we gotta trade him or else he's gonna start regressing. People like that, you had Kareem, who was the best player until he was 40. You had Michael Jordan, who was the best player until he was 38, 37. You had Kobe, who was a top five player. Until he was 35, 36, 37, 38 when he retired. R.I.P. But yeah. He had to face players like... I already mentioned, but... That's basically all I have to say. LeBron... He's, he's top three. I'll say that. I think he's ranked third all time. Now, that's a, the whole top 10 list is a, for a different video. I'm going to say that for a different video. But, I don't think, I don't think LeBron, like, he's still, he's, he's always going to be 3 and 6 in my books. Or, yeah, he's always going to be 3 and 6 in my books. Because, come on, this, this Mickey Mouse ring shit doesn't count. Like, what are you gonna do with this Mickey Mouse ring, bro? Like, no, no fans, and no stands, and uh, what? What am I saying? No fans in attendance. He he faced the fifth seed, without even the starting center or starting point guard. He 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 didn't have to face the the Raptors, the the Celtics, the Bucks, the number one seed. I don't. If if. They faced the Bucks. I think it would be a whole different story. They would have gone to a game seven, definitely. But I, I don't know who would have won. It's a 50 50 chance. Now, the Celtics, they would have gotten. I think game six, they would have still. The Celtics still would have given them the, a run for their money. But the Raptors, I think, I think they would have taken them to game five, game six. But they had the easiest teams. LeBron had the easiest way to the finals, to the finals win, to the finals MVP. I don't, I, he, for mine and a lot of other people, he will always be 3-6. and six. Like, I don't, I don't think this is counting. I don't want this to count. Like, you got, your whole team got destroyed by a single player, Jimmy Butler. Scored a 40-point triple-double, 35-point triple-double. But yeah, it's basically the end of the video. This is not counting for me. This little Mickey Mouse ring shit, this is not counting for me. Alright. Peace out. I'll see you on next video.